Hi, this is Jane from SC4, and today I'm talking about some advanced search skills, which you probably learned in English 101, your information literacy session, but I'm just briefly going to go over them again. There's a guide for Professor Allen's class. It's available at esearch.sc4.edu slash film. You can also Google SC4 library film and get to it that way. Um, if you have a term that's a phrase, like a title of a movie, for example, um, it's best to put that phrase in quotation marks because that forces the database or Google to search it as a phrase. We have a couple of examples here. And you can use Boolean operators to refine your search. These are the three most popular, but there are others available. You use the AND Boolean operator to narrow down your search results. So let's say you were looking for the theme of love in motion pictures. You could put in the term love and motion pictures, and it would find results that have both those terms in them. And remember to always put your Boolean operators in all capital letters. Otherwise, the database or Google might not recognize them. You or together similar terms. So in some databases, it might be referred to as a movie as a subject heading, others motion pictures. So to gather both, you would or those terms together. So that usually broadens up your search results. You not out terms you don't want. Um, and you rarely use not, but in this example, I had a student doing a paper on graffiti as an art form, and he was pulling up a lot of material on American graffiti that he didn't want. So we went back and did graffiti, not American graffiti, quotation marks, and it eliminated all the material that mentioned the movie American Graffiti. You can combine these terms. These, here are some examples. Um, for example, the first one's masculinity and stereotypes and movies or motion pictures. Note that I put my ors in parentheses and that forces the database or Google to do that part of the search string first and then the rest. Otherwise, it can read it from left to right and you would have different search results. And you can see I have some other examples there that you might use um, for different themes you're searching for this class. And often I have students ask me, um, how do I do the MLA citation for a personal interview? Because maybe you are going to interview someone uh, for your paper. The first example you probably wouldn't use now during COVID-19 time, but that's if you interviewed someone face-to-face. -face. Maybe you're interviewing someone in your household. You put the person's name first, then you just write personal interview and the day you conducted the interview. The second example is if you called someone on the phone and did a telephone interview. The third example is an email interview and students often will email, for example, movie producers or authors and sometimes they email back. So you would have the person you emailed or contacted then the title, which is like the subject, whatever you had in the subject line of the email and received by the date you received the email back. And Night Sight, which is, uh, you can just Google Night Sight, is produced by Calvin College. It's an excellent resource for doing, generating citations. Thank you. And again, there's the URL for the film library research guide for Professor Allen's class.